Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the separation of variables method for solving differential equations. And so, as usual, I'll timestamp the different parts of this video, so if you just want to skip through to an exam question at the end, then you can. I'll also be explaining this sort of method two different ways. The first way is I'm going to just teach you what the method is and how to use it to solve a differential equation. The second way is I'm just going to give you a little bit of maybe insight into how this method works. So again, you can skip through to either of those parts or just watch the whole video. So we're going to be using this separation of variables method if we have a differential equation of this form here. So we have some function of x plus some function of y multiplied by dy by dx. And it might not look exactly like this. OK, so we'll take a look at an example. And in this one here, we have a uh, differential equation dy by dx equals x over y. And you'll notice if we multiplied both sides by y and subtracted x from both sides, we would have a differential equation in this form here. So let's actually use this method to solve this question. So we need to find the general solution to this differential equation. And the way this method works is, obviously, we're going to separate our variables. As well as this, using this method, we can treat our dy by dx as if it were a fraction, like with the chain rule. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move all of our y's and dy's onto one side of our equation. And we're going to move all of our x's and dx's onto the other side. So let's do that. I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by y. And then I'm going to also at the same time multiply both sides of my equation by dx. And if I do that, we get that y multiplied by dy is equal to x multiplied by dx. OK, pretty easy. From here, I'm now going to take the integral of both sides. So I'm going to integrate y with respect to y, and then I'm going to integrate x with respect to x. So integrating y with respect to y is really no different than integrating x with respect to x. It's just a different variable. So all I'm going to do now is say, well, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So we get that, well, y squared divided by 2 is our answer. So we get 1 half y squared. And that's going to be equal to the same on the right-hand side. So 1 half x squared plus our constant of integration c. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't I put the constant of integration on the left-hand side? Well, we could do, but it won't really make a difference. And I'll show you why. So let's, let's write it down. So we could have on the left-hand side, half y squared plus, say, c1 for the first constant of integration, and a half x squared plus c2 for our second constant of integration. Well, from here, I'm going to subtract c1 from both sides, and we get 1 half y squared is equal to 1 half x squared plus c1, c2 subtract c1. Now, because they're both constants, a constant subtract a constant is still going to be some other constant. So I'm going to say, well, OK, let C2 subtract C1 equal, say, capital C. And so therefore, we get a half Y squared is equal to a half X squared plus C. And so really, we don't need to write both constants. We can only write, we can usually only write one down, and it's the one on the right hand side. Now, from here, I'm going to multiply both sides by two just to sort of make it look a bit nicer. And we get Y squared is equal to x squared plus, well, 2 times c. We could say that's equal to another constant, d. And this would be a solution to our differential equation. And depending on what the question wants, you could rearrange it to make y the subject. So you've got fully y equals you know, some function of x. So how can we check that this actually worked? Well, we could use our implicit differentiation knowledge. And if you're unsure on that, I'll link the video I've made on implicit differentiation below. And so we could differentiate this. And if we do, we get, well, 2y dy by dx is equal to 2x. And rearranging to make dy by dx the subject, we get dy by dx is equal to x over y. And therefore, this uh, equation has solved our differential equation. So that did it. Separation of variables, that's how it works. And it will give us a solution. So now I'm going to try and give you a bit more maybe understanding as to what's happening. So let's write down the question again. So we would need to solve dy by dx equals x over y. So we're going to start off the same way. We're going to put all of our x's onto one side and all our y's onto the other. And so I'm going to multiply both sides by y. So we get y multiplied by dy by dx, and that's going to be equal to x. Now, from here, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to integrate both sides of my equation, but with respect to x. So we're going to get the integral of, let's put it in brackets like this, y dy by dx. And we're integrating that with respect to x. And that's equal to the integral of x with respect to x. So this kind of looks a bit confusing, right? How do I integrate okay, y dy by dx with respect to x? Well, that's just asking me what function, if I differentiate it with respect to x, gives me an answer of y dy by dx. So thinking about implicit differentiation, okay, so we're basically saying what function, if I differentiate it with respect to x, equals y dy by dx. 
and thinking about implicit differenti differentiation, you might be able to think, well, it's going to be one half y squared. And if you differentiate that using our implicit differentiation, you'll see that it gives you y dy by dx. And so no matter what our function is in terms of y that we differentiate implicitly, we're always going to get this dy by dx that we add on. Okay. And so we could say, well, we don't really need to think about it then. We could just say that, well, this dy by dx is always going to be there, okay, when we different integrate with respect to x or differentiate with respect to x. So really, we can just integrate our function of y with respect to y. Now, even still, that's not necessarily the maths of what's happening. What's actually happening is to do with a thing called differentials. And differentials say that if we have, uh, say, dx or dy by dx multiplied by dx, that's equal to dy. Okay, and that is what's happening. We're doing a substitution. So if you did that substitution or substitution of variables, then we would get the integral of y with respect to y because we're sort of substituting this dy by dx multiplied by dx here for dy. Okay, and that's the math of what's happening. But you don't really need to understand that, especially at A level. So let's take a look at an example question where we're going to find the general and particular solution. So we need to find the general solution to the differential equation dy by dx equals xy. Okay, so separation of variables, I'm going to move my x's onto one side with my dx and my y's onto the other side with dy. So we're going to get, well, dividing both sides by y, 1 over y dy is equal to x dx. And I'm going to integrate both sides of this equation. The integral of 1 over y with respect to y is the natural log of y, and that's going to be equal to 1 half x squared plus some constant c. Now, you could substitute in your initial value, uh, initial values now, so x equals 2 and y equals 4. However, I'm going to rearrange it fully to make y the subject. So I'm going to put everything to the power of e. Okay, so we've got e to the power of the natural log of y equals e to the 1 half x squared plus c. We could now rewrite both sides. So, well, e and the natural log are inverses. So this just becomes y equals, and we've got e to the power of one half of x squared multiplied by e to the power of c. And as e to the power of c is just another constant, I'm going to say let e to the c equal another constant a. That now we have that y is equal to a e to the power of one half x squared. And substituting in our initial value conditions, where well, we get that at x equals two, let's write it down at x equals two, y equal four, equals 4, we have that 4 is equal to a multiplied by e to the power of, well, a half x squared. So a half multiplied by 2 squared, well, that's a half times 4, which is equal to 2. And rearranging, we get that our constant a is equal to 4 over e squared. And so we get a particular solution, y equals 4 over e squared, e to the power of 1 half x squared. And that would be the answer to this differential equation. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.